it has always looked basically the same, the same setup. We try and keep the same pictures on the walls, so when the customer comes in, if he's been coming into this store for 50 or 75 years, some of them, um, it doesn't look like it's changed to them. It's very comfortable actually, even for children. They start very young to come here and uh, they grow with us. At some point also you can be part of the family. It's very nice actually, it's very, very emotional. Uh, Paul Mullay Barbershop has been open since 1913 and it's always been on this block. I remember when I first started working here, it was just a truly kind of out of this world experience. There's a lot of things in here that are very detailed and I think that just makes it that much more special. All these sh mugs are shaving mugs and they have all the names of the clients who've been here for like 20 plus years. We have like 5,000 regular customers and they all have their own mug. Very, very old chairs and they lean back. You can't really find chairs like this anymore. They, they, they just don't make them this way anymore, unfortunately. The shop developed a huge um, clientele of uh, celebrities. Mike Wallace, Henry Fonda, our president was a customer for a long time in the shop. I've cut Dan Rather's hair once or twice. Guess who I cut the hair? It can be a child, it can be an old man, a young man, wealthy, poor, middle class. You can diversify your conversation. It can be political, it can be sport, it can be law, even sex sometimes. <laughs> We literally treat everybody with respect and dignity and, 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 and that's the reason I think, you know, we've always had this type of clientele. The client really feels, you know, like he's getting good service, so I, I like that about the shop. I think I'm going to start getting my haircut here too. <laughs>